This is a story called The History of Bramley, Part 3. <coughs> Excuse me. Our memories of Bramley. Me. Growing up and living here in Bramley was, has given me some of the best days of my life. I always used to play with the younger kids as well as kids my own age and older. I remember playing skipping. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. I remember playing skipping with my friends on the street, not just girls, boys too, and our parents would join in and play with us. I remember running around wearing nothing but a swimming costume on a bikini and having water fights using empty washing up bottles and water balloons and playing in each other's paddling pools. I remember using our sheds to play skulls with my friends even when it was raining sometimes. <coughs> Excuse me. I remember walking to and from St Margaret's Church on Newley Lane and walking along the little white fence. The people in, in the flats would knock on their windows telling us to get down. <coughs> Excuse me. I remember playing on the black steps which were the fire exit from the games room in Bramley Social Club, which is now known as Bramley Sports and Villagers Club and getting told off. I remember being at the Old White Court Primary School and how nice some of the teachers were. However, Mrs Pison and Mrs Priestley were very scary and I hated them. <coughs> Excuse me. I think Mrs Fenson was my first ever teacher. I know that Mrs McCartney was always my favourite teacher. I remember crying when I first started school because I wanted to be with my mum. I think I only stopped crying when I was allowed to play in the Wendy house. I remember that the school was mostly huts. I think there was one main building where, where we did PE and had assembly etc. I remember playing outside even when it was snowing. We'd get out our sledges and share them and have fun sledging and snowball fighting. <coughs> Excuse me. Whenever my parents took us to the black lane we would run up and down the out, out we would run up and down outside and climb on the wall even though it had railings on top. My dad used to take me in Bramley Social Club at weekends <coughs> and we used to go in as a family on special occasions like Easter and Christmas. I loved those days because they were the best days ever. I remember Bramley Carnival and how back in the day it was a carnival. I remember the floats and how I always wanted to ride on them and I also wanted to be the carnival queen but I was far too shy. Every year when I was a kid there was a pram race and a fun run. They were always so funny and the whole community would get involved. I used to go to the disco every week which, every week, which I think was at the Trinity Church on Town Street. I also used to go to one at the community centre on Waterloo Lane. Going back to my early year going back to my earlier years when I was nine years old, I moved up to Broadway Middle School. I hated the main school building because it scared the hell out of me and it still does, even now and even though it's now flat. I was terrified of Mr Woodruff because he would throw ball troopers at us when we were naughty. Mrs Hatfield terrified me too because I always thought that she was a witch. My favourite teachers were Mr Walls, Mr Two and Mr Egg. There was this boy who I used to try looking after. I think his name was Michael and as far as I can remember he had something wrong with him and I think he was in the special unit but I could be wrong. I know that he was a lot shyer than I was which really was a miracle. I remember doing something wrong and Mr Woodruff gave me detention. Instead of doing that detention, I went outside into the school playground to play with my friends and Mr Woodruff grabbed me from behind. He then took me inside and made me do the detention. 
I don't think I did the work I was supposed to do during that detention. I think I just sat there and did nothing. When I moved up to Intake High School at the age of 13, I was glad to see the back of Broad Lane. During my time at Intake, I would pretend to go to the toilet. Instead, I would stand outside the other classrooms where dance classes and other fake arts classes were taking place and watch what was going on. When I was sent out of the classroom for messing about or whatever, I would stand outside pulling funny faces at everyone. Sometimes I would sneak off and watch the performing arts classes and other times I would sneak off and go in the drum room. I couldn't play the drums then and I still can't today but I still loved going in there. Going back to my earlier days again, I used to love going swimming at Bramley Bass with my friends, even though I couldn't swim. I loved the swimming rings that my parents used to buy me. My favourite one was the Wonder Woman one. I think it had her head attached to the front. I also remember having one with a duck's head attached to the front. At Easter, Bramley Social Club would have an Easter egg competition where kids would decorate cold hard boiled eggs, enter them in the competition and the best one would win. I don't think I ever won. To be honest, I can't even remember whether or not I entered the competition. They also had an Easter bonnet parade and again, I can't remember if I entered or not. I know that I always went to the Christmas party in there. When I got too old, I would still when I got too old, I would still go in with my little brother under my dad's surname, Bradbury, and no one knew any different. If they did, no one said anything like they would today. I was and I looked very young for my age. At the back of our house, there were some garages and what we called the back field. We played on that field all the time. I wasn't supposed to go in those garages but I did and I collected ladybirds. That field and those garages are still there but I don't think that the kids that kids play there anymore. In my later years me and my best friend spent a lot of time on Bramley Park even when we were too old to be there. This has just reminded me of when I was at Broad Lane. The school backed onto the park. A lot of us kids would leave the school premises to go and play on the park. I remember some kids from our school having a huge fight up there and the teachers having to break it up. I'm now going to share the memories that other people have shared with me. Facebook. I can remember standing outside the aircon pub, handing out bottles of water to marathon runners and standing on the corner where the globe was to watch the carnival procession go past. That would have been about 35 years ago. Facebook. I lived there in three houses. Town Street had different shops and pubs all along. We moved from East Ardley, uh, we moved from East Ardsley on the 26th of April 1969 to Summerdale Close to 60 Summerdale Close, commonly known as Fertile Valley. I got married in St Peter's Church and then moved to a four storey on St Peter's Mount. I volunteered in the church office and did 14 pantomimes at St Margaret's Church on Newley Lane. Apparently Bramley is built on seven hills. Also St Mary's Hospital used to be a maternity hospital. I remember shopping on Town Street and forgetting something and having to go to walk all the way back. It was a hell of a walk from one end to the other. I also did the pram race and what a day that was. Facebook. Bramley Carnival was, also, was always a good event and everyone came to it and stayed most of the day. There was a lot more than just rides. It was a full day with loads to do. Facebook. I loved the pram race. I used to sit on Bramley Bath Wall and watch it with my sister and all the other kids on Carvery Lane. They were good times. Facebook. I was a youth leader at Le I was a youth 
leader at intake in the 60s and 70s. I knew Charlie Gardner and his son Andrew. He was a member of the theatre group. The shows that the school used to put on were amazing. They did shows at the Civic Theatre too. Max Sellers and Graham Stanley were leaders too. Facebook. I lived on Broadley Road or Terrace, opposite a little church in the 70s. We had church baits there and jumble sales. You left your door unlocked and neighbours were neighbours. I remember blackouts from that house too. Facebook. I was run over by a drunk driver on a motorbike. There was a pub at the other end of the Broadleys. Facebook. I was one of the Bromley councillors from 1988 to 1998. <coughs> Excuse me. My Labour colleagues were Arthur Miller and Denise Atkinson. Facebook. I was born at the back of the block Black Lion and I used to go to the slipper baths at Bramley Baths. Facebook. I loved swimming at Bramley Baths, especially in the six week holidays because you saw loads of your mates from school back in them days. You used to have a number and when your number was called you had to get out. Then you'd ever go on the Space Invaders machine. You would get a hot chocolate and a 3p biscuit to walk home with. We didn't have to go far as we lived next door. Facebook. Bramley Four Ones. Bramley Four Woods was a favourite by the canal or climbing in the quarry. Bramley Park was a regular home for many back in the early 80s. Facebook. I used to go to Bramley Bath with a friend two or three times a week. I can't remember the manager's name. I think it was Don or something. Facebook. I've lived in Bramley all of my 71 years and I have hundreds of memories. We used to play in Bramley Four Woods and by the canal and sometimes in it. Old Town Street, Bramley Baths and Bramley Park. I lived on the Fairfields for 21 years. We could walk past Post Hill just... We would walk past Post Hill just to get chunks for a bonfire night. We would go blackberry picking and we'd go to the local cinema. We played cricket all day and on the park on Monopoly if the weather was bad and Lord small. I used to take... Me too. I used to take my dolls and teddies to the field that used to be at the side of the old white coat school and down to Bramley Fall Woods and have a picnic. I always used to make daisy chains because it was something I loved to do. <coughs> Excuse me. Sometimes I would go by myself and other times I would go with my friends and family. As a kid, I loved watching the pram races and the fun runs in the summer. I can remember watching the carnival and I said before, I always wanted to ride on the floats and be carnival queen. Every time the feast came I used to go all the time. I remember riding on the speedway, the waltzers, the umbrellas, the fun house and the big wheel. I hated the big wheel because I could never reach the bar and I always felt like I was going to fall out, especially when the seats tilted backwards when we was in the air. I think I went on just about every ride except the ghost train. I was too much of a scaredy cat to go on that ride. Facebook. Going down to Kirkstall Fair long before Morrison's was there. Facebook. I loved the pram race down Broad Lane in the 80s. I think they used to do it every year. Facebook. Going to Stevenson's on Town Street. I loved watching them wear sugar into plain blue bags. Butter was cut from a huge block and wrapped in greaseproof paper. It was a wonderful old fashioned grocery store, the like of which we will never see again. Facebook. We used to jump into the locks when I was when it was the summer. Facebook. I remember making a regular visit to the Coca-Cola factory over the railway. Me three. I can remember swimming in the canal a couple of times during the summer. 
I must have been in my teens because I didn't learn to swim until I, I was about 12 years old. I used to love it when we used to go to the part of the canal where we could paddle and co collect tadpoles in jars and bring them home when I was little. I remember my sister and her friend and her friend's brother being on a rubber dinghy and drifting down the canal with the current. It was scary at the time but looking back it was quite funny. I remember being part of a gang called the Bramley Gang but it wasn't a proper gang. We didn't cause or get into trouble. We didn't have weapons or use any kind of violence. We were just a bunch of kids having fun. Everywhere I went, I took my Rasta blaster with me. I remember the owner of the gunner's shop taking it off me and banning me from his shop even though I hadn't done anything wrong. My mum went down with me and got my Rasta blaster back and the owner never stopped me from going in the shop again. He still owns a shop to this day but it's very rare he's there as the shop is run by a young couple who have two sons. Back then on that parade there was a fish shop, a butcher's, a fruit shop and of course the gunner's off licence. I remember that there was an Iceland and Bramley shopping centre which is now a power stretchers. Tesco's was a huge Morrison's and I also remember the cheap shop and the Bramley Apple Cafe. The post office and jewellery shop are still there. Greg's was Thursdays and my mum worked at the factory on Town End until three years ago when she took voluntary redundancy. She was going to retire anyway because she'd had enough. Back then the 49 bus was the 41 bus and it used to terminate at the proper Bramley bus station but now it terminates at Bramley shopping centre. The flower shop that was on Bramley Shopping Centre is now on Bramley Town Street. The fish shop is still there on the centre but it's now under new management. The fish shop on Bramley Town Street has always been there I think. I'm not sure if the corner shop has always been there and I can't remember what the other shops on there used to be. The spa on Broad Lane used to be a church. I think it was always run down and I don't remember even seeing people there. When I first left home and moved on to Broadley Crescent in 1997, I started going in the Sanford pub. That's, not, no long, no, that's, no longer there. it's supposed to support, that's no longer there, it's supported living on flats. And I think there's some houses there too now, but I'm not sure. Facebook. I remember small bottles of milk at school. I remember the greengrocer, the bread man and the pot man who used to come round. Bramley Carnival was brilliant. I used to go to the Bramley Memorial Club, also known as the Old Vic at weekends, with my parents if you could see through the smoke. Facebook. I grew up on the intake estate and it was great when we were younger. I loved nights out in the blue moon which also which was also the harvester. Facebook going down to the Bengal old course looking for lost golf balls. Facebook Ryman used to be a fish and chip shop. Brooks was an Aladdin's cave. I had a paper round there. There was balls butchers, a hairdresser's, Mickarita's fruit and veg shop, a very spacious dark and dingy post office and an off licence at the other end. End of part two. That's it guys, no more to come now. Bye.